Hey guys, this is Korak from Edureka. Welcome to today's session on how to create an AWS free tier account. Now, before we get started, uh, let's just discuss today's agenda. The first thing we talk about is what is AWS free tier. Then we talk about what are the free tier services that are available to us. And then we talk about how to create your own free tier account. So also, if you do like our videos, please do subscribe to the Edureka channel. And if you're looking for an AWS certification, please do check out the link in the comments below. So let's get started. First thing we talk about is what is AWS free tier, right? So AWS free tier is something which is available to customers who use Amazon Web Services. So free tier allows its users to basically use up some of its services free of charge up to a specific limit or a specific point of time, right? So basically what happens with 12 month free tier accounts is that the customers are allowed to use the product for free for a year from the date of creation of the account. Maybe you didn't start using uh, the services way after you made the account but the date of creation and one year after that is what is counted generally so it has over 200 services which it shares with its users who can use it for their purposes and you can use these services free of charge for a certain limit so it saves up a lot of costs especially when it comes to business agility it helps a lot it cuts a lot of costs and makes your operations more scalable and the fact that it's pay as you go model so even if you actually run out of your free tier subscription you can basically use these uh, services for a certain minimal amount so if you don't use them you don't have to pay that's how aws works right so next thing we talk about is what are the free tier services right so the first thing we talked about is the compute services. The compute services are AWS EC2 and AWS uh, Lambda. So basically EC2 offers its users around 750 hours uh, from which an instance is created. So 750 hours after the instance is created, if the instance is still running, basically you will be charged as per the number of hours the instance runs, right? Whereas for Lambda, it is basically a one year free tier subscription. After that, it is storage. So when we come to storage, we talk about Amazon S3. Now, Amazon S3 provides its users with about 5 GB of uh, storage that you can have for free. And once it exceeds 5 GB, you will basically be charged for whatever amount of storage space that you use up. Then we have Elastic File System, which is also uh, providing its users around 5 GB of storage, right? So next we come to databases now when we come to databases what we can talk about is the amazon rds uh, which provides its users a maximum limit of 750 hours for which an instance or a table that is created for any database that is created to run so if your database that you create or any activity on the database that you do if you basically keep it operational after 750 hours you'll be charged and the same with amazon dynamo db amazon dynamo db basically provides its users for 25 GB of storage so you can store a lot of things in these NoSQL database services that are there like DynamoDB after that we come to networking services so when we're talking about networking we can basically talk about Amazon VPC which basically allows 750 instance hours which are free once an instance exceeds 750 hours of its running it will be charged based on that and then there is the Amazon API gateway, which basically allows its users 1 million free API calls. So the moment you exceed over 1 million API calls, you will be charged based on that. So finally, we come to analytics. Now, when we talk about analytics, we can talk about the Amazon Redshift and the Amazon Open Search service. Now, the Amazon Redshift basically is a two month free tier service that is provided to users uh, where basically you can use Amazon Redshift for fast and effective data warehousing. And the Amazon Open Search service, which is basically offers its users 750 hours per month on a single T12 small search. So, T12 small search is basically one of the instances that is there for the Amazon Open Search service, and 750 hours of the instance running is free. So, basically, uh, Redshift and Open Search are basically log in a log analytic services which is basically used for monitoring real-time applications and that is basically more or less the free tier services that are there there are many more which we can talk about later so next we can go to how to create your AWS account right so you go to Amazon web services here and you can see this so you can go to create a free account so when you click on that you basically see this page where basically sign up for aws where you have to enter your email 
So first thing you do is you type in your email and then you basically fix a password, right? So it has to be strong. So make sure you use all the caps and special characters as well. So confirm your password here and basically create a name for your AWS account. That is this. So basically now you have to type in a captcha after all of that is done. Then when that is done, you come up to the second part of it. So you can use for business or personal use. You can use your full name, which is given your mobile number. And let's say choose your country after that and given your address. Next up, we have the state, province, or region, and postal code. So all of this is necessary because it's extremely secure. So you have a lot of authentication to be done, and it's very secure. So basically, once you do that, you see this billing information where you can give in your card details and expiration date and whatever, and basically you can choose if you have or have do not have an other card. So you'll have to have if you have a PAN card, you'll have to have some number which you can do, give here, and after that, what you can do is verify these. So once you verify these, what will happen is AWS will charge you two rupees for making the AWS account. So and once that process is done, your AWS account is basically created so once your account has been created what you can do is once you sign in this is what you'll see and this is all the services that you have and you can check out these services here click on it and you can check these services out right here if you click on each of these they'll give you a list of all the services that are there for this domain right and that is how you basically create your AWS free tier account right so with that I end today's session thank you and have a nice day I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!